Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd come on today and just film a tutorial because I'm going to be replenishing my stash of my little mini word embellishments here. So I'll give you a close up. This is what they look like. They are using roller stamps and then I add some stitching and some different trim just to add a nice textural element. And I think they're just a really cute little embellishment that you can layer onto different, uh, different pieces. So I'm replenishing my stash because I don't have any left. So what I'm using is just a whole bunch of different scraps of paper. So I've got a green, pink, a lighter pink, a blue, craft, a different kind of pink, and then a dark pink. I just stamped on them just to double check that they were all working, basically, that they were going to hold the ink. So what I'm going to do is take my roller stamps. I have about five roller stamps and I barely ever use them. I use them in my scrapbooking fairly regularly, but I've never really used them in my Happy Mail. And I saw a while ago someone using these to make little word embellishments and I thought it was a really cool idea and I've kind of tweaked it to kind of go with what I like to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this one on every single one of them and I will ink it in between each. So you just pop it down and then I just like to give it a slight roll because you get a much better stamp quality. So I'm not too worried that that looks like that because what I will do is just take a pen, a black pen, and just fix that up and you can't even really tell that much. So I'm just going to go through all of my papers, stamp these. So I've done one of a kind, now I'm doing the sweet life. Okay, so I've gone through and stamped seven on each color. Some of them didn't stamp beautifully, like as you can see on like this blue one here, the shine bright didn't stamp fully, so I just re-stamped it again. So I'm going to cut them out now so that they are little strips, like in this one. So I'm just gonna use my scissors just because I think it will be faster. You can, if you want to, use a, um, a paper trimmer if you want but I'm just going to use my scissors I'm going to fast forward this while I'm cutting them all out or cut it out in there so I'm just going to cut them all out to they're in this shape here with some of them I'm also going to do I will show you now you could also if you wanted to which is something I'm probably going to try one day is typing up a whole bunch of words on a computer and then putting a piece of cardstock into your printer and then printing it. That would look really cool too. So this one I'm going to just put like some flag ends. I don't want to use those scissors because it's going to be a bit... So yeah, I'm just going to flag the edges where you just do a snip in the middle and then just do the corners. just a little flag you can do one or you can do two I'm going to do two so different couple of ways you can cut it so I'm gonna go around and cut all of these out off camera so I've cut all of them out it took maybe 10 minutes to cut it by hand and then if you lined them up perfectly straight and you did it with a paper trimmer it would take about 5 minutes, just depends on what you want. Like I said, some of them I've done them as like little banners. Uh, there is a green one that I just did one sided so it's really up to you. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take kind of one of the biggest ones which is this one here and I've got this tool in my stash, it's like a gold foil mesh. I'm going to just line it up so that I'm cutting a little bit of excess on it just as a strip so like this and then I'm just going to cut all the way up this is just the fastest way to do it if you're kind of making you know 30 like I am but if you are just making one then you don't have to cut it like this and then I'm just going to cut them into little strips the size now this is not a you know perfect um, 
piece we're trying to make this look a little bit rustic-y a little bit um, I guess purposefully purposely done angular like I don't want it to be perfectly straight so I'm just going to cut all of these strips off so I've cut kind of enough and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch it so I just like to place it kind of angular across and then add some stitching across the word you can use hot glue if you want to I just like stitching because it adds again another textural element so I've stitched it on, then what I'm going to do is grab, I've just cut a bunch of trims from my stash. Now, I want this one to be kind of Valentine-esque, so I'm actually going to do the red pom-pom trim and I'm going to trim it to size. Now, this one I do use hot glue, so I'm just going to flip it over, pull it, a smidgen of hot glue across the bottom, and then stick on the pom-pom trim like so kind of squish it down with my finger and then that's done that is how easy and quick these are so this piece here if you were doing it just to make one would take you all of 20 seconds I'm making like 30 of them so it is going to take me a little bit longer so I'm going to come back when they're all finished and you can see them all lined up together here's a close-up of the ones that I've I really like these. I think they look so cute when you pop them onto little embellishments like I showed you before with the little potion bottle that I've done. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you did, please like and subscribe. It helps other people see these videos so that they can be inspired. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.